So pretty much right after we finished up sheep season, we turned around and we went directly to where we were going to moose hunt this year. We did everything you could possibly think of to get a moose. We glassed and we used scent. We called every single morning, every single evening. And through the whole trip, I, I have video of maybe two cow moose. Pretty brutal. We could hear them. Like we had responses probably, I don't know, one out of every three callings, which isn't great, but I don't know. At least we could hear them. This is the second bad moose season we've had, so I guess we're officially on a streak. But even if moose season's bad, you can still have some fun. Yeah, that's what it needs. Grouse feathers. What a bunch of monkeys. He already found one. That limb he was holding on to snapped and he just snapped. I'm sure he'd be fine. The kids just bounce. While failing to put a dent in the moose population, we, we definitely still had some effect on the spruce grouse. Nice shot. Remember that's loaded, okay? Go put the safety on. Nope, just go grab it. All right, shoot it again. No, oh, okay, never mind. No, I guess he's shooting it again. That thing's loaded. Bruce, muzzle control, that thing's loaded. Like a little turkey. Bird dispatching 101. Is it dead? I'm pretty sure it's dead. Let's see it. We need about five more. Number two. This. There you go. You hit it a couple times, but I yeah. missed. Yeah. But I got. It. You got it. Oh dang. All right, get back in the machine. Oh, there's two more. Yeah, I can. Well, there's one more. This is probably the most dramatic bird recovery I've ever seen. I, I think you'll enjoy it. Just sit tight. A lot of missing going on. Real smart birds. Please hit it. I don't think it does. Dead. Oh gosh. That'll be like Bruce's highlight of the 
Shh. No, hey, so we're gonna we're gonna let Zach shoot the next couple. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Just rack one in. Don't move the machine. Don't move the machine, boys. Did you hit it in the head? Go! Oh, oh gosh! <laughs> Just grab it and yeah. give it a shake. Just grab it and shake it, Zach. Come on. It's like killing a chicken. Oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> You, sh you shook it too hard. <laughs> I shook it way too hard. Yeah, the head. It doesn't take the heads. The heads come off really easy, and they're still alive. It's my first Arctic chicken. This is uh, not the PETA approved. Feel here. That can't go on YouTube. <laughs> it's not. Not okay. Madison shot the first cross, and I went to dispatch a phone. I gave it a snap. My head. <laughs> well, you can't eat the head. <laughs> no moose, no bears, and everybody looks like you, kind of, I guess. Well, yeah. Pretty rough. Zach looks pretty rough. Oh, boy. Harder, cleaner than most. It's not all about killing a moose. I mean, that's what you say when you don't get a moose, but we definitely had some good times. A lot of fun family experiences, a lot of getting dirty, a lot of working hard, but it was a good trip all in all. I'll leave you with this little gem. This is, uh, this is why Hunter is cleaner than the rest of us. But uh, yeah, after this, we'll head to Michigan. doesn't know I'm here yet. Normally after moose season, we'd have some time to go right out and do a little bit of caribou hunting before that closed, but we have the subway going on. So we put the final touches on that and opened. My, what is it? My BMT. BMT? Yeah. Make it? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. After we were open, we uh, worked it for a little over a week and then uh, left Stephanie there and me and the kids went down to Michigan to do a little deer hunting, see some family. This is the farm where I grew up. And while Michigan is not the wilderness that Alaska is, there is so much life down there. And I thought it would be fun for my kids to experience what it's like whitetail hunting on the farm. Well, we're in Michigan, and this, this is a spot where I shot a deer a couple years ago, and Hunter shot one, and it ended up, ended up getting away, but it's all grown up here in front of us now, so we're gonna 
do a little blind rebuilding and see what happens. We pulled up on the four wheeler and there were three deer right out in front of here. One of them looked like a buck. So. Nice. Yeah, let's get this trimmed up. After trimming up the main blind, we went to a section of the farm that we call the big woods. It's kind of an island of hard woods in the middle of a field. But uh, do a little scouting and look for some squirrels. Watch the tree that it's in and don't lose that tree. Huge. What's that? So these things are huge. <laughs> Almost like our cat or something. Ours would, like a squirrel from our house, would be like here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, Bruce's turn. Okay. Up there on the top of that tree. That's a raccoon. All right, look. I saw that. Hunter, get the get the twenty two shells out. We need to put a twenty two shell in that gun. Keep the twenty twos out. Yep. Okay. There's a raccoon right there. your time okay where is it at there it is all right switch to 410 help him switch it take your time buddy Gosh. I think he got it there. Get him another twenty two shell. Get him another twenty two shell. It's a long shot for a little kid. Take your time. You hit him the you hit him twice. Oh. 
Get another 22 shell ready there. Bruce's over there. Bruce. Oh, never mind. Pick it up by the back legs. Back legs. Come on, bring it over. Nothing looks heavy. It's a big one. Oh, man. Congratulations. I can't lift it any further. <laughs> okay. Now I'm feeling a little nostalgic because it was about 25 years ago I was their age hunting squirrels and raccoon in that same woods with that same 410-22. It's fun watching, watching my boys do it. Better than a squirrel? Hunter's still. Where's your squirrel? Oh, far away. Go grab it. You can show grandma. Alright, we'll go show everybody. Well, here we are. Got the squirrel cleaned up. Hunter's skinning out the raccoon. Eat it for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> you gonna eat it? It'll be greasy. You know who's not gonna cook that for you? Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Look around his eyes, it's like black, black. Yeah. All right, well, are we quartering it up to eat it or are we cooking it whole? Mm -hmm. I've never seen one before. I've, I actually have never ate one. But we're gonna give her a go. Me, Graham's not too happy about us eating it, but we didn't eat it. We shot it. Then we got a minuscule bag with our back strap. What's that? It's a back strap. <laughs> you separated the back straps? Didn't look like much. Yeah, all right. All right, take your time. Make a good, clean shot, okay? Neither of the boys have ever killed a white-tailed deer, so this is going to be a first, hopefully, for Hunter and Bruce. Hunter's going to have first dibs, but I told Bruce if he could shoot the AR fine and make a nice group, then I'd give him a chance after Hunter got a deer. Okay, open your rifle up and clear it. We all want to see it's clear. Okay, leave it. Put your safety on, lift it up, control your barrel. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, stand up. Let me see. Okay, gun's empty. Let's go check the target. Okay. How far away, Bruce? Where are we? 50 yards. What? 50 yards. Okay, let's take a look. So we got... Bullet one. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. You're a little bit to the left, but that's fine. Yeah. So this is, I'm using a 12 gauge shotgun. So this is my, these are me, one, two, and three at 75 yards. And then Hunter was shooting at 75 yards. So that's one, two, and then he, he pulled one, but he knew he pulled it. So I think we're, I think we're good. You guys feel good about that? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Opening day in Michigan, Southern Michigan. It sounds like the 4th of July. I don't know if you could hear all the gunshots in between the rattling, but that's something you don't hear in Alaska.
So look just to the left of Hunter's hat. The deer is right there, but it's it's in the really thick stuff. What happened was those does that came in, there was a group of four, and the one that you saw run right by us, it actually kind of just walked by us, but it went directly behind us and then circled up and around and and came out right in front of him, but they're just in the really thick stuff. I didn't know what was happening. I just I just kept waiting for him to shoot. It was right there. You heard a couple clicks. Well, his AR when he loaded it, he didn't have it, it, he didn't have that bullet in all the way. So it looked like it was loaded, ready to go, but it wouldn't fire. So click, click, and then they're gone. Opening day, I usually sit out there at least the whole entire day, dark to dark. But fun, a lot of lot of squirrels, birds. You never know what you're gonna see. Just nice to be in the woods. Get their rest. Get your rest. Did it go down? Yeah, it's still on. I didn't know you were going to shoot. Okay. It had its tail down, I think. Yeah, and it was really hunched over when it stopped. Okay, yeah. We're going to have to give it a minute. Okay, so we're looking for blood. Um, I watched the video again, and I don't know, I'm not sure if he hit it on the first shot or not, but the second shot definitely hit the tree here. But you can see it in the video clear as day. So I'm gonna find where the first shot went, second shot's a miss, and then we'll hopefully we find some blood. Hey, the boys are coming back here. I did not think we were going to find this, but I just found it. No blood. I think he, I think he hit it a little far back. Hunter. Yeah. It's a real tiny 
tiny one. <laughs> you are lucky. It's like I'm a not, baby. I'm not sure it looks like a baby. They all look small. It's oh not a God. caribou. All right. Let's go check it out. We could almost carry this thing back without carrying, without gutting it out or anything. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're just going to drag it back. You hit it a little far back. It, there was like almost no blood. Yeah. Like, I'm glad I came back here. Um, it has huge ears. I think we got lucky. Yeah, we definitely got lucky. The ears on this thing are huge. It's a little button buck. <laughs> so. Remember when we said we were going to get one bigger than last year? Yeah. Well, let's take it back up there and gut it out. Okay, we're right behind the blind, kind of, so... We're gonna let Hunter clean this one up by himself. He hasn't done one start to finish by himself. And me and Bruce are gonna go back to the blind and we'll just have a no fire zone behind us here, but he's gonna be in plain sight. So something might come out in the cornfield. There's a doe right behind that corn. So just keep your eye on it, okay? That deer left the field and went in the woods, but Hunter came out, and so we stopped him. So it's probably gone unless it comes back out in the field. Now we can all stand around and admire Hunter's accomplishment. <laughs> Antlerless deer. It's Bambi. That's what we're going to call it. All right. It's small, but we're all pretty happy with it. So we get up the next morning early again and get out there. Uh, we saw a few when it was too dark to really film or do anything. And then we had one decent doe that came in and wandered around we rattled at it a little bit but uh nothing nothing to shoot in the morning so we went in uh, what is that honor raccoon raccoon man it smells good it smells kind of like beef. More like pork. Pork? Yeah. How's it taste? Like pork. It's really good. I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. It's like pork. It's got a texture like beef, but I think it tastes kind of like a like dark meat turkey. That's the back strap. I mean, it's like, like yeah. the, even the fat's good. Greasy. <laughs> yeah. Really good. You can tell that much by looking at it. That is great. You cooked it with celery? Yeah, I got BB. Oh man, quality control. A little bit of lead in that one. <laughs> Greasy, but good. When I was growing up, we never ate anything but pork, beef, and chicken. And my parents still really don't eat anything other than that. But 
it's kind of fun to be older and trying new things. Oh, my dad, uh, my dad really didn't think so though. That's just not his cup of tea. That afternoon, Bruce stayed in and me and Hunter went out and tried a little bit different spot. There's an old tree stand somebody left up on part of the farm, so I put him up in there and I sat down on the ground. Holy cow, I was, I'm sitting here on the ground. I can't see anything. I was actually texting contractors working on my building back in Alaska and the hunter just shot. I couldn't see it. I stood up and he got it. It's down. I fired one at it because I didn't know if you hit it after I stood up. I saw it. it like It like rolled and got back up again. Rolled and got back up. Yeah, that's what I saw. It's big. It, like, I, saw, like, I mean, it's probably not big for some of you actual whitetail hunters, but I don't know how big it is, but it's the biggest buck. It's the biggest buck I've ever seen, I think, like, right here on the farm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It, was, it was standing, like, right there. How could I couldn't see it because there's a dip here, and then oh. I was kind of low, so I couldn't see the deer at all. Yeah, I when I, I shot it, and it, like, hunched over sort of yeah, oh, like you, did like a half when roll you, when you hit, hit it yeah okay you hit it hard the first yeah. time i can see him i can see him down over there okay. yeah so it was right here when you shot right over here yeah, right there okay that's why i couldn't see him because there's a dip yeah. there you can see it because you're in the tree stand now I'm sitting on the ground, I can't see nothing. Apparently, what, how many deer have you seen? Six. Six? Well, seven probably. Oh my gosh, Hunter, it's dead. I'm down. Oh man. I'm more excited than if I'd have shot it. Yeah, I'm like, it was staring. It was staring at me for a second. So I don't know how I'm trying to get your attention. <laughs> Okay, it's not as big as I thought, but it's pretty awesome. Look at where you... Perfect. Look at that shot, Hunter. If anything, a little high, but... You could not have hit that any better. All right, yeah, hold it up. Let's see it. Okay, never mind. It's not that big. It's not that big, but that's awesome. Oh man, perfect shot. I mean, perfect, perfect. Just right directly behind the shoulder. I'll say he's a lot bigger than my other one. That's yeah. For sure. Hey, well, I mean, we don't have a ton of big bucks around here, but that's a trophy in my book. Good job. Let's get some pictures. We called in grandma with the four-wheeler because we just walked out here. So there's a little, another little side story going on here. I got this deer and I'm wearing my wedding ring, right? And then we load the deer onto the four-wheeler and we get back, we get all hung up and take pictures. Then I realize I don't have my wedding ring. Lost it. <laughs> It's, it's like twice the size. Good job. Nice shot. We spent the next morning out in the big woods. Some of us hunting, most of us sleeping. Uh, we saw four deer. One of them, one of them we might have maybe got a shot at if it came in the woods, but it didn't happen. So after that, we broke off and went uh, looking for my ring. my wedding ring while I was throwing that deer on the four-wheeler last night. So we came back to the gut pile. Hunter just found it in the grass. Thought for sure that thing was gone. Right. I probably ought to put it in my pocket. There was like no chance of that happening. It was pretty lucky. But we found it. The next morning me and Bruce went out alone. 
it was fun get to be out there just me and bruce and we were lucky enough that there was a flock of turkeys back behind us can't see them real well but you could hear them you could hear them real good While we were watching the turkeys, four does came out of the tree line in front of us, but but way up high. And they came in, and then they left, and then they came back. I'll have to move to you. No, you just need to wait. You're moving, you're moving around quite a bit there, bud. I need, I need you to get steadier. So Bruce hit her, but I wasn't sure where he hit her, and I didn't want it to run off in that next property, so I threw the camera down and pulled up and, and took a shot, finished her off. The other two does didn't take off right away, so I had them set up on the other one. No, hold on. See the one in the back? I got a shot. You got a good shot? Nice shot. Oh gosh. Oh, I got one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, I think. Oh god, he's getting up. Oh god, he's so hard. Hey, hey, just oh, hold on. Oh, it's oh, not god. gonna. Get... It's okay. I think. I think you got the first one too. But I don't I think you got it good, so I shot it. That's why I dropped the camera. Okay, so we just just need to keep our eye on it. We'll wait a minute. Okay, so there's there's your deer. That's the one you just dropped, right? Yeah. And then I didn't think you hit it real good, so I shot again. But there's the other deer right there. Okay. Yep, I can see it. So whose deer is that? Well, I'll that's I'm tagging one. that one because oh. I don't think you hit it good, so I shot it. We'll, we'll see. But, we'll see when we go up. Okay. Well, we got to get this one out of the mud. Yeah. Here. No, I'll get it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mm. Let's go look at the other one. See who's the place to climb but Okay. Here's the other one. Bruce actually hit that one pretty good. It was it was just a little bit far back. It kind of threw the diaphragm and you couldn't really see it when I first got up there. But when I skinned it out, it was obvious it had two holes in it. You definitely hit it, but I think you hit it. You just hit it too far back. So. Would it have died or? 
Oh yeah, no, it, it was a kill shot. It just would have taken a little bit longer than it should have. So you um, just finished it? Yeah, I just had to finish it for you. That's yeah. okay. It's all right. I'm going to tag this one because I did oh. the final kill. and You can tag that one and then Take we're all two. tagged out on does. Good job. We had a few firsts on this trip. Bruce's first deer, first raccoon, hunter's first buck. Okay, well, we got, we've got four deer, or like three and a half. <laughs> and uh, we got an old stainless steel table from the milking days of the farm. So it's a nice day. It was down to like 32 here this morning, so. We try to let these deer hang, like I think they need to hang at least at least three or four days so we're kind of on the early side of doing it but we're gonna try to butcher hunter's big buck and then hunter's little tiny buck today i'm gonna skip over all the butchering but we took care of those two deer that day uh, me and hunter and bruce we went out a few more times but we were kind of holding out for a buck and we didn't see one we got to see some family went up to my great uncle's watched some deer from his house and then uh yeah we packed all the bags up and headed home okay so that's a raccoon that hunter's antlers the antlers are in here yeah i got the antlers the last of the meat okay. and we got these suitcases are full of venison in that bag 170 pounds. You think, Mom? It was a good trip. Great to see family. Great to get in the woods. Great for the boys to hunt on the farm, but when we drop out of those clouds coming into Anchorage and you can see the frozen ocean and the, the spruce and the mountains, glad to be home. Well, home sweet home. Oh, everything's got a little snow and ice. So there, Delta Airlines. And that's how you fly 170 some pounds of venison home. Everything is good, nice and solid. It was uh, negative 20 something below driving back. Oh, well, everything froze up pretty tight. I don't think any of it really thawed out. We're going to have to have a big meat cutting day pretty quick here. We, since doing the subway thing, haven't cut anything up from hunting season. When we were flying back, coming into Anchorage, you get thinking about Michigan, and it is a pretty magical place in the fall. I could definitely see doing this trip. Maybe not every year, but we're, we're coming back. We've got a little bit of that deer left to process, and the freezers are full of quarters and other stuff. But now that we're home, we'll uh, get to work on that, and maybe there might be some caribou around, but there'll definitely be some trapping and a little bit of goofing off in the weather. Looking forward to that. <laughs>